hello students so today through this video i will be discussing about the classification of animal tissues so animal tissues if we see uh, the classification of animal tissues uh, it is primarily divided into four types so there are four kinds of animal tissues first epithelial tissue second type connective tissue third type muscular or muscle tissue and fourth type neural or nervous tissue and in each tissue there are some subcategories are also present so first we have to talk about the epithelial tissue epithelial tissue it is a thin protective continuous sheet of cells actually and they are mainly uh, finding uh, the, we can observe the epithelial tissues mainly on the soft part of the body outermost layer of the skin the lining surface of the mouth nose lungs stomach and this epithelial tissue that means the epithelial cells it may be flat cuboidal or columnar in shape so on the basis of that shape okay and on the basis of its location in different areas we can further divide the epithelial tissues into four subcategories there are four types of epithelial tissues are present in different parts of the body the first subtype of epithelial tissue is squamous epithelial tissue so squamous epithelial tissue uh, these are thin flat prominent uh, and also having a prominent nuclei which are closely packed and such kind of tissues we can find in the la lining um, in the uh, lining the mouth in the nasal cavities in the blood vessels as well as in the lymph vessels the second subtype of this epithelial tissue this is cuboidal epithelium tissue and it is found mainly in the salivary glands uh, in the pancreatic duct part, part and in the nephrons third type of the epithelial tissue is columnar epithelium so columnar epithelium these are located in the wing pipe also located in the glands and another is stratified epithelium which is mainly found in the skin and in the cornea of the eye now the third type columnar epithelium it is further divided into two categories two categories one is ciliated columnar epithelium that means in this kind of columnar epithelium cilia is mainly there cilia is present and in another type of columnar epithelium it is mainly found in the glands so these are actually a gland we call them as glandular columnar epithelium so this ciliated columnar epithelium it is mainly located in the inner lining of the trachea in the windpipe and glandular epithelium as the name is given glandular that means these are located in the glands connective tissue this is the second type of the animal tissue the first type it was epithelial tissue now the second type is connective tissue now in this connective tissue it is classified as connective tissue proper supportive connective tissue and fluid connective tissue so connective tissue proper it mainly serves for packing and binding the organs and that's why the name is given connective because it is facilitating connection in between the organs in between the tissues or in between the two different parts of the body supportive connective tissue because uh, uh, the name given supportive because it mainly provides support and fluid connective tissue because these are looking like fluid these are fluid so we call them as fluid connective tissue although they are fluid but they are also communicating they are also uh, making a connection in between the body parts so we call them as fluid connective tissue now first is connective tissue proper and in this connective tissue proper there are three kind of tissues are present one is called areolar or packing tissue and uh, it is most widely spread and occurring beneath the epidermis of the skin the second category of the connective tissue proper adipose or fat tissue and uh, it mainly we can observe such kind of tissues in the, in the under the skin and around the kidneys 
okay and they mainly store fat and we also call them as fat tissue so adipose tissue is also called as fat tissue okay then fibrous connective tissue this that means there is the fibers are present so it is made up of elongated cells and we refer them as fibers okay like uh, tendons ligaments okay ligaments which are present in between the bones in between the two bones and uh, tendons which mainly connect muscle to the bone so these are so tendons ligaments these are fibrous connective tissue so if we observe areolar adipose fibrous all are helping in the connection so it is under the connective tissue proper supportive connective tissue now supportive connective tissue means this kind of tissues they are actually helping by providing a support so cartilage cartilage and bone cartilage bone so these are mainly providing a supportive framework for the body okay cartilage these are elastic it, it is mainly made up of non living cells um, chondroblast and bone it is a hard part and uh, it also a, a porous tissue and uh, here the living cells are present known as bone cells or osteocytes or osteoplast so these two type cartilage and bone they are actually helping in providing support to the animal body and thus we place them under the supportive connective tissue fluid connective tissue fluid connective tissue that means these are fluids and there are two types and one is blood and another is lymph muscle tissue which mainly form the muscle this kind of tissues are mainly form the muscle and these muscle tissue or muscular tissues these are of three types striated muscular tissues and these are mainly found in the arms legs face and neck unstriated muscular tissues these are mainly found in the skin lining of the blood vessels urinary bladders and in the uterus and cardiac muscles cardiac means heart so it is mainly or specifically located in the heart nervous tissue so nervous tissue it mainly constitutes the nervous system okay so inside the body it is mainly concerned with the perception and responses of animals so these are the categorization of the nervous tissues okay so this is about the categorization of the animal tissues and please subscribe my channel and subscribe it for more videos thank you for watching this video